the governor vetoes House Committee Bill 3, which sought to modify provisions relating to funds for vulnerable senior citizens. Missouri Senate Appropriations Committee Chair Senator Dan Brown of Rolla says lawmakers spent hours trying to find a way to make the legislation work. And we funded the senior services line that had been set up. We took the point count back down to 21, and we restored half of the provider rate cut. Missouri Senate Minority Floor Leader Gina Walsh of Bell Fountain Neighbors says the goal was to curb spending while keeping the Missouri Property Tax Credit Claim, a.k.a. the Circuit Breaker Program, in place. Here's an idea. We all got behind it. We see it as a viable answer to save the seniors in this state that desperately need the resources that Circuit Breaker provides. Lawmakers will have the opportunity to override the governor's veto during the annual veto session in September. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.